can you can you clarify for us from a technical perspective, uh, embedded lease, high level? You know, this is the thing that's spooking everyone. How, what is an embedded lease? What what differs or, or distinguishes an embedded lease? The word as as you can relate to embedded means it's within another arrangement. And a simpler example can be data centers. Data centers uh, that tech companies use, the overall arrangement may not be a lease because they provide power, they provide remote hands, all the services that come with it, but they also provide a space where you keep all of your hardware. So within that arrangement, if that space is identified, you control it, then that space component would be a lease. So in, in, if you just take a step back, that means you have an embedded lease within this data center arrangement. That's what it means simplest. If you upload any agreement into an AI powered tool into the Trulian software, uh, after the OCR and the NLP is done, what's done is called entity recognition. Entities are transactional entities. Uh, such as uh, financial data, start dates, end dates. Now, to be fully clear, the AI is not going to check a box that says, yes, this is an embedded lease or no, this is an embedded lease. This is still uh, an activity that requires a really strong layer of judgment uh, from you or your advisor. But what the AI will be able to do is we'll be able to quickly identify the trigger uh, numbers and words that could force you to uh, look for that and more rapidly identify those embedded leases and then make the notes accordingly um, within the, the tagged entities and transactions. We specialize in financial technology. Truly, we specialize in accounting technology. And so we embed the lease reading as part of the workflow. I would say that, that we as a company pick up and predict accurately roughly 70% of the terms that you need for ASC 842 from the lease. And that's a really important clarification because it's not 100, right? And it's not close. What it's doing is it's helping get to the data quickly. In our workflow, um, accounting teams and auditors still need to approve the, the data that's that's been extracted. And you'll find that things like start dates, end dates, renewal dates, uh, lessor, lessees are a lot easier to find. On the other hand, AI is not going to be able to calculate a complex step rent or uh, forecast a CPI. This still takes um, critical review from the users. Tagging. Thing is, is if you connect the tool within the workflow, like you said, side by side, then what happens is your audit trail extends. Your audit trail extends from the software all the way back to the source data. So these are hard things to calculate, but when a modification comes up, it could take an hour, hour and a half, three hours to go through uh, the agreement. And if you previously tagged it, you could do that more quickly. Um, you might get a big question on a material lease from an auditor to take you back to the point in the agreement where you where you got that data point, right? <laughs> you could just mm -hmm. picture someone in the shoes like, oh, I, I can't even find where it is. And, and, and so that's part of the value is if you can connect with the unstructured data, you're extending the audit trail and improving the efficiency of the whole process. I think that workflow angle is important from what I've seen. I've seen a variety of solutions, but when, when it's part of that versus you trying to extract the data somehow manually or using a technology and then import, I think that just creates another layer that you probably don't need or don't want. So yeah, looking forward to see uh, better and better solutions as we uh, 